Okay, we're looking at differences between milkweed and dogbane. This is a milkweed. Okay. White milky sap. <clears throat> Find that in both cases. Look at the color of the stalk. Stem. Doing this myself. Notice how the leaves join. The veins, the color, are yellowish tan. That's going to be consistent through it. This is a milkweed. Here's a milkweed pod. It's a little more mature than I would want to eat. What I would do to eat him be to break it apart and see how brown these seeds are. I don't want them that brown. This one's too mature for eating. But again, milkweed. Milkweed. This is milkweed. It's again, color of the stalk, color of the veins. They alternate. See this? Right that way, we're gonna go 180, that way, 180, that way. All right, milkweed. Okay, these are largely past their prime. They've dropped leaves. This is dogbane. Um, usually the leaves are going to be a lot, will be larger than this. But notice how red the stems are. And I wish I could get the pattern of the leaves for you. It's because they're like related to milkweed, so they're going to have a very similar pattern. But they're smaller leaves. As in, first off, let's look at the redness of the stems. Milkweed versus dogbane. Here's dogbane that's loose lost most of its leaves. But again, you can see the redness of the stem, and this is versus a stem of a milkweed. Okay. And then here on this dog vein, we have, these are the typical seed pods. Here's again, those red stalks we talked about. The seed pods can be very thick like this one, long and thin, but they're still dog vein. These will be a good way to identify dogbane in the winter after it's lost its leaves would be by these seed pods sticking up. Again, you can see how red those stems are. I'm going to put my milkweed up here next to it. I'm going to break a leaf out of the, pull a leaf out of the way. And look at the color difference between the stalk of the dogbane versus the stalk of the milkweed. Beautiful dog vein. Got a nice long growth pattern. We get good fiber out of this one. Very identifiable. Look at the leaves, how they're more, they're narrower and uh, more of a rounded shape than the milkweed leaf here, beside it. The color of the stem is a dead giveaway. Dogbane, milkweed. Dogbane, milkweed. Red stems, narrow leaves, kind of rounded with a slight lancet point. Dogbane, milkweed. Here's the milkweed pod versus what you saw for the dogbane pod. Much larger. Again, credibility, squeeze them. If you can feel like a gap, like air, these are too ripe for eating. But this stalk will provide me with some fiber. So I was asked if I can actually make cordage out of it. I'd spoken about it, and the person I was speaking to didn't realize you could make cordage from milkweed. 
but that's going to be a different video. Here's a dog bane. This one hasn't died back like the other ones. See, it's all in bloom, but look down in here. Look at these leaves. Same milkweed. Side by side with the dog bane. For color of stems. For just general appearances. Dog bane. And milkweed. Okay, so I'm not fishing, but I wanted to show this plant. Here's the seed pods. There's the milkweed like seeds. Turn and break it, it's not gonna break. There's another one right there. <laughs> 